Uh, you can request minutes of this. Uh, we, we can give you whatever information you need if there are questions uh, about the, uh, for example, the uh, environmental impact study that has to be done. We'll follow up with that. Um, but in any event, that, that's the purpose of this. And so this, the community board members who are here tonight are part of this Roosevelt Island Task Force. And the, and the point of it is, is number one, to get you information and then also to hear from you, which we've heard from everyone here tonight. We're very glad that you came out tonight to speak to us because we want to hear about what your concerns and questions are. And that's the whole point of this, of what we're doing tonight. So with that, Larry, if, if you could, uh, if you yeah, have a question. I, I'm ahead. Larry Parnes, I'm a resident and a member of the board of the committee. And I will be a little bit repetitive of you. I think it's great that we have people here and we get into comments. I just want to make some statement that as you think about this project, bear in mind that, and feel free to jump in now, that it's approximately in terms of square feet, the same size as the uh, original proposal for NYU down in the village. And I believe it's on a smaller site. So you should bear that into consideration. You should also note that um, the design it uh, proposes buildings as high as 30 stories, include, right? including a hotel. Um, and so that leads into my next question. But the point is, Nick, I would suggest that maybe, since we had so many questions on the hospital, there was a presentation here a couple of years ago by HHC about the transfer. Maybe we can have HHC come down at the meeting before our next, before the ULR starts. So we can get quick about it. So we yeah, can yeah, let's discuss it. We'll my my question for Melanie yeah. is, and it relates to a lot of the questions that come up, that came up here about the design. When you go through Euler, how specific will your designs be, or will we going to see what we call the used to city planning box diagrams and sexual things? What will be the level of specificity that will go through Euler? People bear in mind that once you go through Euler. As, as the proposal um, proceeds, that will probably be the last time there will be uh, necessary public reviews uh, of the project. So continue. Yeah. Sure. Um, and I, I, I think the, the type of information you're going to have at the time of certification is going to be kind of at three levels. One is there will be kind of box diagrams which aren't going to be architecture to give you just a sense of what's going to happen. The other thing that I think we're going to try to put together is, um, you know, we started from kind of a master plan concept at the end. And we're going to try to put together a PowerPoint that kind of applies the controls to a design um, and then shows how much flexibility there are so that you get a sense of how things could change. And then the third thing is that there will be a, some level of development of the first building, so you'll have the opportunity not to see how the entire campus is going to look, but how a building will be able to be put into it. So it's going to be a mixture of diagrams and some level of thought about how that diagram turns into art. I won't talk to Kenny at City Planning. Okay. Uh, any other questions over here? Yes, Jeff. Yeah, I, have, I, have, I have a question. Sure. Uh, Jeffrey Esquire, the board member, also the board member. I do have to say that I, you know, and this is actually more of a comment directed to Cornell group themselves. I'm a little disturbed by the fact that thematically a lot of the questions are being asked, a lot of the issues are to be addressed in the EIS statement. But yet, you know, it seems to me that the intent uh, is to basically minimize the time for the EIS review, which allows just the 60 days to review it. I mean, Iowa's population, the socioeconomic issues, the 19 categories that you're supposed to be addressing are not ones, quite frankly, we've expressed these statements to you all repeatedly, are not ones that, you know, in my opinion, I think in many of our community board members' opinions and in the public's opinions, can be addressed in the first 60 day period. Um, you know, being an adult attorney myself, I understand that, you know, this is something in which you kind of play the numbers and you see how that plays. And so I, number one, urge strongly as we have in the past that, you know, the out continue, or at least for now, be able to be protected to give us and open up draft, the draft statements of the EIS beyond where they are right now, um, beyond just the study period, um, to actually have substantive comments as to the so, you know, specific areas that are of concern, um, so that we aren't running against the clock when the process is 
because quite frankly, you know, going back and just even today downloading the EDC website, the draft statement, hoping you see there's be some sort of updates. You know, there, there isn't any, and you know, as you've heard tonight, the vast majority of the questions that are being asked and the concerns that are being raised are directly those that are dealing with EIS and that. And if I can say, and I, and I appreciate, I mean, the, the EIS is a very, very
forming our thinking around new designs and new buildings.
exactly along the lines of what you're talking about. So we're absolutely open to talking about that. We actually have some excellent people up in Ithaca that are great with landscaping also that have been starting to think about how do we program that space in a way that benefits the community. Yeah. Yeah. Would I be able to speak further? Or? Yeah, come, come talk to me. Okay, okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay. And in, right. in terms of just there was the technical question yeah. about sort of how much space we're talking about. We're talking about six so it's about 12 acres. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, right. great. Thank you very Three much. Three and a half acres of public, of publicly accessible space, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, with that, any other community board questions? Okay. And yes? So, Dr. Price, the comments to the audience tell them that if they go to the community board a website and the, and the agenda and the schedule for all the meetings in the month, and this was on our schedule right. for tonight. Mm -hmm. yep. So, if they go. Check at the beginning of the month, check the community yeah. board agency. So, yeah, we, we make our schedules, and whenever a schedule meeting is uh, initiated, it will be on there. All right, I'm just going to yeah, take this question and we're going to wrap up here. Yes, ma'am. Very quickly, um, in reference to the discussion on landscaping, there are a group of us who would love to have your participation in coordinating with the community to get the Tom Otterness sculpt, brass sculptures that are being given away um, at, uh, from the owners of the Times Square Hilton. They did a renovation. There are some 60 odd sculptures, which we already have three in the East River, uh, across from the Day Spring Church on the West Base. Um, there are a lot of people in my area specifically have made a lot of phone calls. We've contacted um, Baloney, Jessica Lappin, a lot of the Congress people. So they're already like involved and they want to give it to a college or a park. We have two parks, and, a, and we're going to have the IT right. university. Okay. So maybe Kathy, you can help you us get with that? that. Yeah, you can speak to yeah. Kathy about that. So, OK, what was, Scott, you go I just, I just want to say, I know obviously there'll be a lot about transportation in the EIS. I hope that um, you'll be dealing uh, in depth with both uh, not only getting people from Manhattan, but also how visitors will be coming from the airport. Yeah. Um, I hope that you're um, dealing with the city about future plans, you know, in, in addition to just whether ferries are possible, but whether there might be ferry landings as part of the greenway completion on the east side, you know, the gap by the UN, um, whether that might be to give a connection from Grand Central almost directly to the island and things like that. I hope that will be looked at. Also, and, and also just um, as, a, as a comment, maybe now is not entirely the time to think about this, but you know, in, in terms of dealing with security issues, I think that you know, even, even if the risk factor is protesters, which I think we can all see, can be an issue, and I don't mean that in a bad way, you know, we need to be anticipating um, First Amendment protest rights and um, just what this might generate, um, but I, I hope that there'll be a balance between you know, making it a very safe space and not having a space that's controlled uh, by private security completely. I hope that there will be, you know, obviously you, you made it sound like you want this to be an open and welcoming space. I myself have actually been rousted by uh, PSD on the island for daring to walk near the tram station when it was under construction, just walking down the south part of the road. I had someone come up, you know, a member of the PSD come up and say, what are you doing here? I hope this is going to be completely a welcoming space that balances those two. Okay, yes, sir. And then, uh, I think we also should uh, put pressure on the uh, city police department to establish a, uh, a city police department on Roosevelt Island. Okay. Because we've been trying to do that for many, many years. Right. And they always say either there's not enough people here or there's not enough Right. Now we have massive amounts of people coming and right. right. yeah. The second point about not enough crime is a good problem. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I, look, I understand that. And so we'll we'll also bring that out, and I'll make inquiries as well to find out what, what, what is being considered. And then you know the community board will look at these issues. These are things that are concerned. So we certainly want to look at that. So what what the next the next step here is that we're going to decide what meeting we should have. I think the health issues that were raised are important, uh, and then we're going. I'm going to get feedback from the committee members. Everything we do will be posted on the website, and then if we have another meeting in September, which is possible, uh, we will get the word out to you every way we know how.
because we want as many people as we can. I do. I'll, I will raise. We'll, you know, we have more people than this. You know, we may have to consider space, right? So we'll look. The church might be somewhere we can go and do it. So anyway, we'll we'll get back to you, but we're going to let you know whatever we do. Uh, please. What's that? Um, we try to use another. Here's the thing: for September meetings, we normally plan that the week or or two weeks prior to the beginning of the month. So we only release our schedule like that kind of week before our Labor Day is when the schedule would come out. Um, because we've got to find spaces, we've got to check what committees can meet when. There's a fair amount of logistics that have to go into that. So that's right. There's a lot of committees, so we have to plan that and figure out what days are open. And September is tricky because it's a it's a it's a lot has a lot of logistics. Yes. Probably either October or November. Uh, a Euler uh, right. on, on this, and, and that meeting will have to be here on the other one. Yes. So it's probably, Euler is probably going to be heard, but the community, full community would yes. need to be October and November meeting. Right. And as I said, you watch, watch the, the community board website at the beginning of the month, all the all the meetings of the right. board. Now there are lots of them. Now, if you go to the board website, you can see there's kind of some, some committee meeting every night, right? Right. So, uh, Okay. Thanks. Uh, you want to say anyway, what the website is? What's that? Yeah, CBA. Yeah, read it out. CBA. 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 CBA.